You must be the beckoned. Be careful here. Have you seen the rather small creature that entered the city? They say it is the beckoned. Surely you jest. How could one of that size herald the power of Athene? It is true. Sikandra has verified firsthand that the creature wields tremendous power. Power? But not absolute power. Not a confirmation of divinity. We shall see. Greetings! And the beckoned arrives at last. What do you think of our humble academy, Chosen One? Could I perhaps convince you to debate one of my prodigies? Surely the beckoned of Athene would be a worthy lecturer. He did not have the strength needed to appeal to the gods. Though he was named Primos, his virtue faded over time. Many argue the meaning of the beckon. Are you a conduit of the gods, or are you merely their messenger? I know what you are. You are the strength of the gods incarnate. If anything, this city is great for separating the weak and impious from the strong. Not all have kept the promises we made to the gods. Some have left our city to live in the wilds, as if they were the Myra. Fools. I will admit, times are difficult for the school. Few have the fire within them to debate. They seem to prefer moping. That is what we were before the gods sought to raise us up. Life for the Myru was not. The Myru cared only for base pleasures, carnage, conquest, and power. They were far from the enlightened people of the cult. I am the master of the Lycaos. I do what I can to enlighten the minds of those who enter my academy. I despair that the Lycaos has passed under the awareness of one so blessed. Our academy is the center of conversation for philosophy and theology in Idilla. Would you be opposed to joining us for a dialogue or two? It will be an honor. The spears, you mean? They are for the debate. Wonderful! With the hard times about us, I worry that our long-kept traditions will eventually be lost as the school's influence wanes. Your involvement is sure to spark interest in the Lycaos once again. Now, let us begin. In your first debate, you face Thace, one of my most promising students. Study hard, Beckham. Greetings, Beckham. I... I take it that Onesimus wishes me to go through with this debate? Very well. Oh, uh, the city? It is... well, it is grand, as everyone says. I wish I could say more of it, but I spend most of my time in the light chaos. Though the light chaos is open to all who wish to debate, some choose to spend their lives mastering the arguments, like me. 
I hope it will make me a stronger colossi. I am... Uh, the youngest of Onesimos' students. There is much I have yet to learn. You... you are? Then, uh, I will begin. I mean, here is the topic of discussion. A torrential storm sweeps a youngling and a full-grown colossi into the flow of a river. A big one. A river, I mean. Now, there is only time to save one. Which should one choose to save? choose to spare the potential for strength over the certainty of it, that's... well, that's a stance few might stand by. Very well. Let us begin the debate. Let us prepare. Senseless Beckham. Why, this is the form all debates take here at the Lycaos. Opening statements are made, and combat determines the victor. I am unsure what else you were expecting. That said, will you allow others to challenge you? You appear to be quite skilled. Speak to sisters. He is eager to debate with you. My students have told me that sisters wishes to challenge you. Speak to him. He will be glad to test his might against yours. Study hard, Beckham. Is it my turn to challenge you, Beckham? I am eager to test you, and myself. I remember when we endured, and there is no greater home. I am a student of the Masters, and there is no greater joy for me than the debate. I truly love it here. Currently, my studies have me exploring the value of life versus that of the spirit. I am glad. Tell me, what is the most effective display of strength in the following scenario? On a trip across a vast desert, you and a companion encounter a boulder. It is an airborne boulder, and it crushes your friend. He tells you, Leave me, Beckham. Even were you to lift this boulder from off my battered body, I would be but half a colossi. What would the strong do? I... Uh, that would be... most efficient. Still, I believe one should allow their friend the honor of a natural death. His final moments should be spent like he spent his life. Fighting through the pain! Let us begin the debate. Prepare yourself. Yeah. 
absolutely scintillating debate, Beckham. Sisters didn't stand a chance. Are you ready for another? Find my disciple Zeno when you are. He wishes to challenge you. Speak to Zeno. He wishes to test his intellect against yours. My disciple, Zeno, wishes to speak with you. He Study hard. You are the beckoned? I wish to challenge you. Sisters and Thace are worthy opponents. That you have debated them is impressive indeed. Especially for one so short. Our city it is no coincidence that it is built to honor the struggle. I am a relatively new debater, but already I have made my mark. I outranked Thace in the Master's eyes, though we became disciples on the same day. My area of interest is the nature of war. You are one of the greatest debaters I have ever seen, Beckoned. I hope I present a worthy challenge. My query for you is simple. What makes a war worth fighting? Very good. Any day that one is well enough to walk is a good day to wage war if an enemy presents itself. But does the act of war truly require reason? If strength comes from virtue, and it does, then those with the power to war have the moral right to do so. Let us have our own war, here, to decide who is right. Prepare yourself. Zeno's argument was hastily prepared drivel next to your well-constructed thesis. Fine, an older disciple, wishes to debate with you. Speak to Fine. She is my eldest disciple, very powerful and wise. A true challenge awaits you. Speak to Fine. She study hard. Blessings to you. You've defeated many of Master Onisimos' students, Beckoned. I am the oldest, the most powerful. Prepare yourself to face the Master's most gifted student. The Colossi... We were strong enough to rip it from the clutch. No doubt the gods favor us because we have... This is that we leave social standing at the door. I am a student of Master Onisimos, and I hold the highest rank among all of his disciples. My current point of study is the nature of strength and its relation to virtue. Excellent. You've done well thus far, but I have another query to test you. Does might make right? That is an intriguing point, but it runs counter to the core of Colossi values. 
Our culture hinges on the belief that strength is given by the gods to those with the virtue to wield it. Let us debate the issue. My virtue shall prove that you are wrong. Prepare yourself. Beckon arrives at last. Beckon, welcome back. Have you been enjoying your debates? Indeed, you have defeated all of my students, Beckon. The issue I pose to you is this, brought to my mind by your overwhelming strength. Can those with absolute power, such as yourself, have courage? If one enters battle with victory all but assured, can one also be called brave? You have proven differently here at the Lycaeus. Very well. Let us debate. Prepare yourself. my underlying gratitude for participating in our competitions. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Word of your scintillating lectures is sure to bring attention to our school. Already there are more spectators in the Lycaos than there have been in years. Your thoughts guard you well in combat. May this talisman offer you similar protection. Though we were all taught sound lessons, my students and I have never seen this many in the Lycaos. Truly, you have helped us. Study hard. Should be glad the Beckon fights with us.
That you honored us with a debate was the greatest gift you could give, Beckoned. I wish you luck in your endeavors, Beckoned. Its craftsmen are of the finest caliber. Please, just let me past. I will only be gone for a short while. You know why you cannot leave. Without you, the city could never be completed. You cannot keep me here against my will. I am not some animal. You know it is far too dangerous for you to leave. My business in the teeth of Naros is no concern of yours. Others may come and go as they please. I demand the same respect. No, Passator! It is not safe out there. You must remain in the city that is final. What is it? Unless you can somehow convince the guards to let me leave the city, you're only wasting my time. I'm sorry. It just makes you a little crazed, you see, being locked inside this city like a penned animal. All I want is to leave for a short time to travel to the Warren and check on my wife, Galatea. But I cannot leave. My wife and I were separated when the city was raised. I believe her to still be in the teeth of Naros. I hope she is unharmed. This city, but now I have been here so long. I am one of Idilla's finest masons. So much so that it seems I am an institution amongst my people. It seemed nice at first, but they handle me like a work of art, with too much caution. The stone used to build this city was dug out from the Warren. It was our main quarry. But much of it is inaccessible now. The rest is home to beasts. I did not choose to leave her beckoned. I wanted her to come with me. But she can be difficult to move to action sometimes. But I cannot retrieve her now, for I am one of the city's finest masons. The guard are under orders not to let me leave, so I do not die. All I want to know is that she is unharmed. But I've done so well for this city that I am forbidden from departing. <laughs> well, you can certainly try. But Galatea is stubborn as stone. Would you truly beckon? That is something. At least I will be certain that she is unharmed. I left her in the ruins of the Warren, the city's old quarry. You should search there for her. We were separated when the city was raised. I last saw her in the quarries of the Warren. Please find my Watch wife. Your step in the concourse. How may I serve? Many greetings, stranger. This stage is the tapestry on which Master Stratton paints his productions. You are the first of your kind to see it. You should be honored. I am the custodian of the theater. 
Stratton concerns himself with the art, and I, the material. And I handle the audience as well. If they are rude, I eject them with impunity. The story of my people is the stuff of the master as the playwright who runs the theater and uses it to house his productions. With just a few tragedians and a manuscript, he is quite capable of rendering any historical scene in exquisite detail and vibrancy up on that stage. He gains influence daily, and I am certain his is the mind that will lead the Colossi into a new age of enlightenment. It is a popular locale for many, and we gain more followers every day. Master Stratton's plays invoke the imagination and spirit of the Colossi such that few can resist. Be on your way, then. Well, it seems that Stratton isn't releasing his play anytime soon. I've heard. It's his opus, or so he said. I wouldn't blame him for being careful with it. Now would be an ill time to release his most cherished work, anyhow. Because of the unhappy state of the city? That's reasonable, I guess. But every play of Stratton's is his opus, or so he would have us believe. Have faith in me. I'm familiar with Stratton's tendencies. Yes? Guide your actions. Please do not disturb the tragedy. Of And it would seem that the Deliverer of my people has found me at last. Many honored greetings to you, Beckoned. If you would, I have more than pleasantries to discuss. Like many, I seek your prowess. The Beckon shows the path the Colossi must walk again. So it has always been claimed. It is a grand city. Looking, but we are also capable of. M I have lost much to the beasts of this land. I aim to ensure that none share this sorrow. A culling. Though the Colossi are a people of faith, more and more of us are reverting to the savage ways of our ancestors. The lowest of these doubters become marauders, bloodthirsty and violent capable of nothing but wrath. They must be purged. I thank you. It is high time we bring their savagery to an end. Each marauder should carry a totem of some sort. Bring those to me as proof of your deeds. The marauders have lost their reason, but not their strength. If they catch you unawares, you will not have much time left. They roam the lands below the city. I do not doubt that you will find them if you seek them out in the wilds. Many greetings, stranger. And you return to me. I hope you are finding this work well suited to you. They roam the lands below the city. I do not doubt that you will find them if you seek them out in the wilds.
Many greetings, stranger. Welcome to Idilla. Welcome, Beckon. Beckon? It seems my preconceptions were off. But I still need your divine aid. The plague spreads. Are you even in the suit? I, just as I expected, I am a mason. One of many caretakers of the sewers. A hidden menace. The secret horde. Though few acknowledge them, the rats are the great threat to this city. In my younger days, I hunted the vermin with a force of will unequaled by the greatest of the theologians in Lycaeus. I have worked on this city for all my lifetime. The sewers that run below it are my masterpiece. But this work of art is besmirched by rats. These foul vermin run rampant in my catacombs, tainting it with their fitted presence. Try as I might, I cannot best the scourge. But you beckoned. Your divine intervention is needed. I have never known beasts with such low cunning and high birth rates. They are fearless as they are disgusting. I have pinpointed a much-traveled route used by the rats and seeded it with traps that can be activated on command. Find the levers that activate those traps. They've been placed on a ledge overlooking the route. When you see the rats pass below, simply pull the levers as they approach the traps. Slay the filthy vermin! Once, I hunted the rats that plague our sewers with... Though I rest, I wish you well. I hope you are well. Can the beckoned be so small? Be careful here. Greetings, beckoned. Have you come to pass the time? If we wait long enough, Stratton might even have another play ready when we're done. Like Stratton and Andronicus before him, I am a writer, but I tend towards essays and dissertations rather than metaphor and prose to deliver my messages. I was a close friend of Andronicus. I have reviewed every production displayed in his theater for those not in attendance. In the years since, I have been told that I've been unkind to Stratton, but I beg to differ. I am honest. I have many look to him to fill the Master's sh a mighty playwright, much like Idilla itself. I plan to attend, as I do with all the productions held in the city, though my hopes for it are not high. I'll not take up any more of your time. Ah, uh, the famed Beckoned comes to me at last. Admittedly, my request might be the smallest you will hear, but I wish to voice it nonetheless. I do not forget Arches, or what he did for my people. He led us here, and started this city, but most cannot see past his flaws. How do you- But even it cannot forget the world. This is a place for those who are weary of their burdens. 
If you feel so, you can rest for a while. I'm just one who's intent on maintaining the cultural integrity of her people. We were once no nobler than the Jotun or the Etin. Some would purge this history, but then how will we remember it? To preserve the past. All around us is the great chisel and hammer of progress, keen on dragging my people towards enlightenment. But such progress means nothing without context. I wish for someone who can find artifacts of my ancestors, reminders of our simpler times. Very good. I'll reward you for any artifacts you can find, but larger artifacts will do well for both of us. I await your findings. They are little things, of no intrinsic value. But as my people are so convinced to make progress, these artifacts are the few records of who we once were. They are strewn throughout the teeth of Naros. They may be hidden in forgotten corners, or carried by beasts as trophies. Good luck in your search. Greetings. I hope you have had some good luck in your search. Many greetings. I can help repair your equipment. I can help repair your equipment. The Beckoned! Can I interest you in a potion? Greetings, Beckoned. How goes the work you have taken on? There are always things to look after in this... I have a bad feeling about this. The city regularly sends surveyors into the sewers, but normally with an escort. But the guard has been stretched thin of late. It is rather annoying that as high as we are from the teeth, we can still fall prey to the mischief of sprites. They've squirreled away some items in their dens below the sewer. A brooch, an idol, and a mason's hammer. There are always smaller items of inquiry or aid that the people of Idilla need. 
This board allows the community to assist them. If you found a task you wish to take on from the petition board and complete it, I will recompense you for your trouble. I can help repair your equipment. Everything you need is here in the market. The Beckoned! Can I interest you in a potion? Can I interest you in some armor? The finest magical crafts, guaranteed. I am sure you shall find something in my stock to your liking, Beckon. Our ancestor race, the Myru, had no... You can see how much we've progressed. With our arcane skill, we set this whole city to float among the... But such ability must be tempered with appropriate humility. So the Primos has taught. I do not... However... He will bring... Though magic is new to our people, I can craft fine artifacts for it. I bear my skill proudly. There are those that stand by their spears, but even our greatest warriors acknowledge the worth of magic. I will be here if you need. Everything you need is here in the market. Welcome to the Idilla Market, Beckoned. Can I interest our sit while it saves us from the w I construct what would you like one? A wep I construct what would you like one? A weapon I we prefer the spear for it suits us, but our travels have taken us many places and I can craft weapons of every shape and all are equally fare you well
second. Return to me if your equipment requires re Everything one requires, one will find in the concourse market. Weapons, armors, and healing implements. I was one of the f many pine for our home of old. My days as a guard are behind me, but I know my way around arms and armor. I can patch it all up. Farewell. The Beckoned! Can I interest you in a potion? Welcome, Beckoned. Any who explore the teeth of Naros should not do so without my wares. Not many of my kind are drawn to horticulture, but it teaches me patience and satisfaction. The plants of the teeth are strange compared to those from our original homeland. They require much attention and deft care, and as I've found, tiny hands. You would make a good apothecary, I wager. There are, but the gods had no... for subtlety with us. Look at this. Be careful out there, Beckoned. Can I interest you in some armor? Take heed in these lands, Beckoned. The Jotun, Trolls, and Terex will not spare you, given the chance. Armor is my passion, my livelihood. No one in all of Idilla can provide protection of higher quality. I am reputed with good reason. Though our skin looks like stone, we are but flesh. As any mortal race, we need armor to protect ourselves. There is no- Have you found streets more- Pristine and appealing. Be wary in this land, Beckoned. I can help you. Prepare your... Everything you need is here in the market. Dealing with gems is a specialty of mine. This city is a... My people will grow into the majesty. Attention to detail is not overly common amongst the Colossi. Much can escape the notice of one so elevated. But the facets and powers of my gems hold so much meaning and power. How could I ignore them? There is a lesson in sage crafting. Even the smallest jewel can turn a common sword into a deadly weapon. <laughs> 